We're not out to convert people to become Catholics. That's not the goal of the church. The goal of the church is to serve. And so any things that are deeply um, a part of the life of the community um, should be of concern to the church. Hello, Father Tim. Uh, my name is Steve Bravo, and I come from uh, Santa Education Complex. Hello, Father Tim. My name is Amado Alberto, and I come from Thomas Jefferson High School. Alberto and Steven, you're very welcome here. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. um, what What are we doing right now? Is uh, um, you know an int a short interview for uh, the uh, build the build health program, which is a program that's uh, from the National Health Foundation. What the aim of the National Health Foundation is to help improve the overall healthiness of uh, the, so uh, the historic South Central area. All right, what type of services do you think the community needs more of? Well, I think they need more services like all of you who are here today. <laughs> because I think uh, one of the biggest injections of overall health, talking in a holistic way, is to involve our young people. So, first of all, I just want you to know I'm grateful that you're all doing this. And as an elder member of the community for 25 years, I, I'm i just very pleased to see this. So, as far as specific things that um, would bring greater health to the neighborhood, I certainly think uh, programs for adults in exercise and uh, diet, learning to cook properly, just to be knowledgeable of the things that cause diabetes and heart disease and whatever, whatever resources we can bring to help our people understand their situation better and have better health I think is important. Um, what is the biggest issue you would address in the South LA community? Well I think they are there are two big ones on my mind. One is uh, mental health. I've been here as a priest for 25 years in a five mile radius from where we are right now. Over those 25 years, I've seen a definite rise in numbers of young people, middle, high, middle school, junior high, uh, or I mean high, high school, who come with issues of suicide, who are wanting to end it all. I've never had so many as I've had the last four or five years. Uh, another is where we live. And this does go beyond, I think, the, the particular issues that you're involved with, with our physical health. But I do think that, as it was mentioned in here, one of the factors leading to good health is residency. I stand opposed to gentrification that would bring in all kinds of high-rise buildings and high-cost buildings and would displace most of the people whom I know who live here now. So I want to see programs that are going to be for the people who are living here now. Okay. To me that's important. Uh, going back on to the programs, um, has the church itself ever made any programs to help improve the community as well? Well, I hope so. Um, in the area of health, um, we uh, were contacted about four years ago by a young man named Jason Benavides. He works for Casa de Salud. It's a health clinic on Washington and 
I believe, uh, Trinity. And every other month they come here after our Masses on Sunday and they set up shop outside and they take blood pressure readings and they uh, counsel people about the uh, symptoms of diabetes and uh, I believe beginning to raise some of the consciousness of our folks in terms of their need for taking care of themselves. Um, going more into our program, uh, what we do for the community is we provide upstream solutions. And what, up, what upstream solutions are is rather than uh, um, wait around uh, for the situation that happened, we preemptively take care of the situation at, at hand. So we're saying like uh, um, setting up uh, healthier foods and uh, in corner stores, mm -hmm. as you said, like set up community gardens and uh, also well around uh, just making everything publicly safe. Is there any way that possibly the church can also get involved with, uh, with these type of solutions? Well, I, I, I certainly think the church should. The church should not be a place that has a wall around it. The church should not be a place that exists in isolation and is seen as a community that stands against the world. Uh, at least in, in my experience of Christian faith, uh, we're called to do the opposite. We're meant to ask the question, what are the things that are most important uh, for humanity? And that's where we need to bring our gifts, our faith. So yes, I think we, we certainly should be a part of the solution to better health and safety. I mean, every, everybody's um, excited when your mass is about to start. Since I go sometimes, mm -hmm. and I see, it's, who's, who's gonna teach the mass today? Oh, Padre Tim, everybody's happy. Oh. Because, you know, yeah. you're, really, you're really fun, and <laughs> you teach a lot talk about fun and having a sense of humor well that great deal of that I think is fed in my life from the, the young people so so as I say having all of you here today uh, camera I guess doesn't pick up all the wonderful young people in the room here but I I'm very grateful you're here I think this is terrific my name is Tim Dyer I, I am a priest for 42 years here in Los Angeles most of my assignments have been in East Los Angeles and South or South Central LA. Um, that's the place that I have most desired to live all my life. I, uh, I've had my life greatly enriched by African American communities and the Latino communities that live here, and I, uh, there's no place I'd rather be. And uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure, especially nowadays, to be involved with young people in this community and see them growing and taking leadership. and. Uh, for the best in our future. So as a church, I hope we can serve them and promote them.